Our study of circles is now moving on to angles and arcs. The first angle we want to talk about is a central angle. For a central angle, our definition is the center is vertex and sides are radiators, radii. Little funny wording, but we're trying to word this small enough so it can fit it into your circle notes. And the key here is the center of the circle is the vertex of the angle and the sides are called radii. So the center is the vertex of the angle and the sides are radii. A central angle, key thing to remember, is simply that the vertex of a central angle is always in the center of the circle. The sum of all central angles is the next thing and that is the sum of all central angles equals 360 degrees. That tells us that a circle is 360 degrees, which is what we already knew from previous studies. All of the angles inside of a circle, when added up, equal 360 degrees. We just never called them central angles before. Next we have the minor arc. The minor arc measures less than 180 and equals the central angle measure. An example here would be that angle 1, or central angle 1, is 50 degrees. That would mean minor arc AC is also 50 degrees. The minor arc and the central angle that makes it are always equal in measure. Now if you have a minor arc, it makes sense we have a major arc. A major arc measures more than 180 and equals 360 minus the minor arc. The last part isn't as intuitive as you look at it, but it's an easy calculation. If I knew that angle 1 was 50 degrees, then the major arc that would go from A to D to C would be 360 minus that 50 degrees, or 310. The key part, though, a major arc measures more than 180 degrees. We're going to jump back here for minor arcs. Notice it is two letters with the arc symbol above it. For a major arc, it's three letters with the arc symbol, symbol above it. That's the easy way to identify the difference between a major and minor arc when given to you in a question. Next, we have a semicircle, which equals 180. It is simply an arc which covers half a circle. We use three letters when we name semicircles. So we have E, C, F, which is our semicircle, which equals 180 degrees. Here are all the notes for today's circle notes. Make sure that you have them all down, and if you have any questions on these, make sure to ask. We're going to move on to next a few example problems, which you'll probably want to move into your notebook. Uh, trying to add these to your circle notes isn't going to be real effective, so having these on a separate sheet of paper is going to be much more useful. Here's our first question. It says, find the measure of angle AVW given that AQ is a diameter. So we want to find AVW. AVW would be this angle right here. It is a central angle because we know that AQ is a diameter, so that's half our circle and it goes through the center point V. That also gives us the way to solve it. We know that since this is a diameter, this part here has to be 180 degrees. That's how we'll solve it. 25x plus 3x plus 2x equals 180 degrees. We have 30x equals 180, which gives us x equals 6. Now we go back to the question that was asked, which is find the measurement of angle AVW. If x has a value of 6, we plug that back in, and 25 times 6 would give us 150 degrees we have our answer. Our next question is find the measurement of angle R 
T S. R T S would be the angle right there. Again, we have to figure out its measurement. Now in this question, we don't exactly know right offhand which pieces to use because we have four different pieces and we're actually missing one of the, one of the uh, central angles. As I look at the picture, I think the easiest place to go is going to be to use that semicircle right there. So I'm going to use 8x minus 4 plus 13x minus 3 plus 5x plus 5 and have that all equal 180 degrees. Adding that together, I get 26x minus 2 equals 180. Notice I'm not even using the 20x. That wasn't needed to actually solve my question. Adding the two across, I get 26x equals 182. Dividing by 26, I get x equals 7. Now that I know what x is, I can go back and answer the question. What is the measurement of angle RTS? RTS then would be 8 times 7 minus 4 or 56 minus 4 which is 52 degrees. We got all of this because we knew we had a semicircle. Our last question says segment PL bisects angle KPM. Do you remember what bisects means? Hopefully you do. Knowing that that is a bisector of angle KPM tells us that these two pieces are congruent. They have the same measurement. Now we want to find the measurement of some minor arcs and some major arcs. We are once again going to use the semicircle. We know that those two pieces are the same size, which gives us 2x plus 46 equals 180 or 2x equals 134 dividing by 2 x equals 67 degrees we can now put this back onto our picture we now know that angle LPM or central angle LPM is 67 degrees central angle KPL is also 67 degrees. Now if we look at our picture, how else can we use this information? Well, as I look at my picture, from here to here is another semicircle. So I have another 46 degrees. 67 plus 67 is 134, which leaves us 46 degrees. So what that tells me is that I have vertical angles M, P, N, and K, P, J. These are vertical and they're equal to each other. Now I don't have any more vertical angles. Don't try and use that assumption to say that this angle right here is vertical to the other 67 because that's not true. We need to use this information to start answering some of our questions. Okay, so here we go. We have our 90 degree angle here, our 46, 67, 67, 67, and 46. Let's see if we can answer something. What is the measurement of minor arc OK? That would be this one right here. Nope, we don't have enough information, so we have to go back to calculations. We have one last calculation left, and that is for the angle right there. We have another half a circle or semicircle in which we know that two of the angles are 90 and 46. That means that our last angle right here needs to be 44 degrees. Now we should have enough information to answer all of our questions. Minor arc OK goes from O to K. So we just add those up. 46 plus 44 is 90 degrees. So the measurement of minor arc OK is 90. Next is LM. LM is easy. We don't have to do any adding. We already know by looking 
the measurement of the minor arc is equal to the central angle, so LM is equal to 67. Lastly, we have JKO. JKO is a little bit bigger, and we're going all the way around the circle. So we'll use something a little bit more creative here. We're going to go from J to K all the way around the circle and end at O. Two different ways of doing this. I could add up all the pieces, or an easier way to do that is simply figure out the piece that I don't want. I don't want the 44. I want everything else. So I'm going to take 360 minus 44, and I'm left with 316 degrees. So the major arc there is 316 degrees. If you have any questions on minor arcs, major arcs, semicircles, or anything that we learned in today's lesson, make sure to ask me when you come back to class.